Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Let's begin tonight with an update on the Whiskey Complex fire. We'll take a close look at this right here. This is where the fire is actively burning in the red area here. This is southeast of Garden Valley. You see it's south of Highway 21, south of the river, and the very high uh, terrain, a very complex terrain. We've been told that firefighters are not fighting the fire at night because it is just too difficult to do that. I want to zoom in and show south on the south side of the fire here. This is Placerville, and on the bottom side of this uh, different colored square here, this is Pioneerville, a small town. The fire is less than three miles from there, and getting word now in the last 30 minutes. It's about the 10 homes have been forced to evacuate uh, near Pioneerville. And so we'll keep you updated on that uh, tomorrow morning, keeping you posted. And the smoke from that fire is now tracking from, instead of going uh, northeast, northwest to southeast, it is actually tracking right towards Ada County. In fact, it's over Ada County now. And as the uh, temperatures drop, that smoke will then just filter down Highway 21 and uh, cover much of northern Ada County tomorrow morning. Again, we'll have smoke from there. Plus, we've got smoke from a much larger fire to the west. You see the size of the Whisker Creek fire. Take a look at this fire that's burning here in eastern Oregon. This smoke is now going to our south, but over the next couple days, it is going to start to track in our direction. I will keep you updated on that. All right, let's take a look at our Roaring Springs uh, St. Alphonse's Water Safety Word of the Day. The winner last night of two tickets to Roaring Springs, Karen Greenhog from STAR. Congratulations, Karen, uh, winning those two tickets to Roaring Springs. If you'd like to win the contest, here you go tonight. Our next water safety tip, wear life jackets, avoid water wings. Using air-filled swimming aids can give parents and children a false sense of security. And just over a couple weeks ago, there was an accident on the Magic Reservoir just south of Highway 20. They were a boat capsized, and a family of five were put into the water just 50 yards from shore. All three young children were wearing life jackets and made it to shore. It was very difficult for the parents to make it to shore. And I'm sure if there were not life jackets involved in the children, it would have been a much different situation. And so, again, just another note on how life jackets can be very important, especially on the water where Coast Guard approved life jackets all the time. And the weather, water, uh, the uh, water safety word of the day is life jackets. You can go to Idaho on your side, go on the top bar and click on contest, enter that in, your chance to win two tickets to Roaring Springs. Now, let's take a look at the time lapses. This was this morning. Notice the Boise front is visible, but I'm going to put this into motion. And this is this morning. Watch the smoke just fill right into the Treasure Valley. And you see the uh, foothills, as we mentioned earlier, just disappear, gone for a while. Now, during the afternoon, we broke out of some of the smoke, but here's the afternoon time lapse showing watch streaming above the mountains. Look at the darker, what looks like cloud cover. That is the smoke that was coming in just before the sunset. And to the west, the sun was shining here, but then there's that fire to the west in Oregon. Watch the sun disappear behind the smoke right there. That was the fire to the west. So the situation is definitely a smoky one, and so there's a good chance of smoke tomorrow morning. Right now we're sitting at 87 degrees. View from the village at Meridian. A comfortable night tonight, but again, the smoke around. I do want to mention the forecast in Star. The Star Quilt Show gets underway Friday. The governor will be at the Star Quilt Show tomorrow to get a quilt. You can get information from StarQuiltShow.com. Money raised for the North Star Charter School. Temperatures dropping down to 90 for a high on Sunday. It starts to cool. Winds were bringing smoke down from Canada, but now as everything shifts to the east and flattens out, westerly winds will start to bring smoke in from Oregon as we head towards Friday and Saturday. I will keep you updated on that. In the meantime, for tomorrow, likely smoky sunshine in the Treasure Valley with high temperatures a little hotter than today, up around 100 degrees for everybody, 100 in Vail, 101 Weezer, 98 in Meridian. So smoke and then the scorching temperatures during the afternoon. It's a little hotter than today, and I think you're going to notice it. Lighter wind tomorrow will make it feel hotter as well. 100 degrees in Riggins on the Maine Salmon tomorrow. 88 McCall Donnelly will check in today. 86. Again, haze is possible, but I think mostly in Boise County, around the Garden Valley, the Whiskey Complex fire, and that fire will probably be a little bit more active tomorrow with the hotter temperatures. 84 in Stanley, great weather. It was a little smoky today. We'll hope that we can get clearer skies, but as those winds shift to the west, Stanley Sun Valley will probably get more smoke from the fire on Garden Valley as long as that fire is there. 94 degrees in Gooding and Twin tomorrow with smoky sunshine. My on your side extended forecast looks like this. We do have a bit of a drop in temperature as we go to the weekend, only 90 on Sunday. It may become mostly cloudy at times, or at least partly cloudy, with a slight chance for mountain thunderstorms developing, which keeps it cool, but then the lightning threat could come right. in Sunday More night fires. and Monday, and so more fires. This is that critical time of year, and lightning is the critical element. Yeah. We're surrounded. Coming up next on today's Six on Your Side, hundreds are dead after the latest exchange of missiles along the Gaza Strip. Can a ceasefire agreement even be reached?